what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A gunman went on a rampage over the weekend in Las Vegas and killed at least 59 people, wounding over 500 at a country music festival. Now, what stood out to me, besides the obvious carnage, was how relaxed some of the concert goers were while the shooting was taking place. There were many sightings of people just standing in clear view. This totally debunks the theory that white people or all white people are smart and lends credence to the idea that white folks can learn a thing or two from black folks. One of the things that white folks can learn from black folks is when there is a shooting taking place, run, run for your life. Your life is on the line. You know, like I know, had that been a crowd of black folks and somebody was shooting, it would have taken all but 30 seconds for the whole entire festival to be cleared out. He wouldn't have had anybody to shoot at. You would have saw shoes and hats and purses and wig pieces all over the damn place. America. What can I say, man? It's like. Nothing surprises me anymore. You know what? It, it's, it, isn't it sad when you become immune to mass murder? Like, when you just don't, you don't even, you, you just get numb to it. It happens so frequently here in America. And this is the country that wants to position itself in the world as the the country of democratic values and freedom. You know, good old America. They say that, that this is the largest mass uh, shooting in U.S. history, but it's not. I, I say that because they've been killing black folks so much in the U.S. and any time uh, black folks or uh, doing something especially progressive, uh, they get in the way. They like to get in the way. So I would dare say that the top 100 times has there been a mass murder, maybe, maybe it's a little exaggeration, I don't know, but, but there's been many cases where white folks have took to the street, taken to the streets and gunned down black folks in the U.S., by the dozens and dozens and dozens. So, and I bet you that, I bet you that at least, at least the top 10 mass shootings are all white people killing black people. I bet you that, guarantee. So let's get that straight out the gate. The guy who did the shooting, they're gonna talk about how he was mentally disturbed what they're going to try to do is humanize him. They're going to try to talk to his family members, his friends. You know, what was he going through? What was life like for him growing up? Um, you know, how did he take the separation with his wife? I, I guess he was, I don't know if he was separated, divorced, or he was together. But, you know, maybe a lot of times when men lose their mind like that, it's because they have women problems. So I think that uh, they're going to try to humanize him. How was his relationship with his wife, his girlfriend, whatever he had? He's going through some things with his kids. His finances were not in order and he just snapped. But when it's us, you're just an animal. You should be locked up. Kill him. Like, 
You know, they don't want to talk to your family members. They don't want to talk to your first grade or kindergarten teacher. They don't care that you had mental issues. They don't care about none of that. And they're going to use that person as an example to justify their mistreatment of every other black person. So let's see if this one guy's actions be a reflection or be indicative of all white people's actions. Let's see if they're going to implement a law like overnight and come down on white folks with assault rifles. Let's see if they're going to go door to door, knocking on doors and confiscate them. Let's see if they're going to go shake down the neighborhood. He was from Mesquite, Nevada. So let's see if they're going to hit up Mesquite, Nevada and put up roadblocks and start harassing everybody that live in the community. Let's see if any of that happens. Let me tell you something, man. I got a very low opinion of Las Vegas Police Department. For, for, for starters, they had the Tupac case. And they've had plenty of evidence to piece that case together and bring somebody to justice for killing Tupac. But they never did because they never wanted to. Las Vegas Police Department is... A, a model for police departments all over the United States of America. They don't really care about black people at all. Tupac was one of the biggest, brightest stars on the planet when he got gunned down. They didn't give a damn. So all of this praying they talking about they doing and they got the hotline for the family members this and that, man, oh, psst, man, get out of here. It's fake. You know, that it's, it's fake. It's all fake. Don't tell me that you care about this group of people, but you don't care about that group of people. You lose all credibility with me, especially when you're supposed to be protecting and serving everybody. So when you pick and choose, when you cherry pick who you're going to care about, who you're going to pay attention to, what case is going to get it, attention in what case you're going to turn into a cold file. You know, you're going to purposely make a cold file. You lose all credibility with me. Las Vegas, don't be fooled by the lights. Don't be fooled by those lights. It's corrupt from the top on down. Now, I know some people all they see is black, white, period. But I'm going to tell you something. If this country stand any chance whatsoever, we're going to have to figure out how to coexist. I'm telling you, it ain't, it's, no, it's not even another way. Now, some of y'all, in y'all mind, you can say, man, okay, it don't matter. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, you know, the idea in life is like any time you're given life, the idea is to leave the world in, a be in better shape than it was when you came into it. That is the idea. So what are you doing with your life? Now, that clown in Vegas, he just left the world in worse shape. If there is a such thing as hell, he got a first class ticket. He going in a handbasket. So I'm I'm look I look at that situation like I look at any other situation. I don't like to see innocent people get it. I just don't. It don't it don't do nothing for me. I, I'm not that. I'm not that uh, type of dude. So, you know what? Another thing too, as I watched that video, I saw, I saw dudes standing up. I mean, the gun fires like, 
da, da, da. and they standing up like, you know, like, like it's nothing. They're just standing up and everybody else is ducking and diving and trying to get out of the way. And yeah, fools just standing up like, Now, that person that was standing up, now, I really do believe that, that person has some mental problems. But I don't think the gunman had mental issues. I think the gunman knew exactly what he was doing. Take 10 guns into a hotel room. I think they said he was on the 32nd floor and started shooting. He knew exactly what he was doing. There wasn't nothing wrong with him mentally. Was he off? Yeah. A little demented? Yeah. But... He wasn't that he wasn't that type of off. So, but this is the Mer this is the America that uh they created. They, who is they? Like my boy Tyrone said, who is they? They, the white people who run this country. The Donald Trumps, everybody in his cabinet, including uh Ben Carson, the white supremacists. This is the this is the country that they created. And it's going to get worse. This is the country that the NRA created. This is the country that the uh, police union created. This is the country that the uh, judicial system created. And it's going to get worse before it get better. Believe that. No more talk. What, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. Order, Texas.